I get calls and I, sometimes I get letters and emails, Facebook posts from viewers around the world who often ask me, you know, what this made you decide to commit your life to do this type of work. Um, and I, I'm always used to interviewing other people and not really sharing personally my own personal life sometimes. And, and I think what I realize is that as a person who has made a commitment to live outside of herself and actually live a life of contribution, that I need to start sharing. I need to start telling people, you know, sometimes hearing somebody else's struggles can motivate somebody else to do more in life. Um, so I want to share with you a little journey, how I started this little, I guess little I call it, but this baby called Integration Television. Uh, I get a little heart you know. Like many of you out there who are probably working professionals scattered around the world, many of us don't necessarily live around a large Somali community, but um, about three years ago, I went through a divorce with two young children. My youngest child was three months old. And fortunately, I don't say unfortunately because I think it's a blessing, I was able to move back home um, near my family and near a large Somali community in Toronto, Canada. And that's when I saw a lot of things that I wasn't exposed to before, having been spent majority of my adult years outside of the community and working in a different part of the world. So um, what did I see when I came back into Toronto? Uh, <laughs> I, I just, it just it breaks my heart to even talk about this sometimes. Um, I saw a lot of my friends that I went to high school with not demoralized, not happy in their lives, just accepting that life is just, that's the way it is, you know. I don't have to do anything. I basically do a nine to five job. This is, you know, I live on welfare. This is my life. I, you know, I basically um, have five kids now. I have no dreams. I have no hopes. I saw a lot of mothers that, um, you know, their sons are obviously got into some trouble with the law. They don't have emotional support. They don't have anybody helping them at home. I saw a lot of men who felt hopeless and couldn't um, give and take care of their families, you know. And this, this made me kind of go back to myself and say, you know, what is this? What is this that I'm this time in my life I'm being exposed to? You know, why is it that I am moving back home and for the first time in my life I'm seeing the struggles of my community? So... Um, I did some soul searching and I said, you know, what are you passionate about? I went back to school, started life, a new life all over again. You know, when you go through a divorce, obviously there's a lot of challenges. You don't know sometimes if your head is up or if your head's down. You feel demoralized yourself because, you know, you have kids you have to answer to. You basically become one person. Uh, when I went back to school, it was something amazing happened. It, it clicked inside me finally that gosh, you know, I don't have to become my story, you know? I don't have to be another divorced mom who's gonna go into poverty and not succeed in life, you know? And I said, no way, I am going to be bigger than my story. And that's what I wanna share with you guys today. You can be bigger than the stories that have been defined for us around the world as Somali people. We can achieve goodness and greatness inside of us. You know, I remember waking up 4 a.m. every day, you know, getting the kids prepared, getting them off to school so I can go to school, you know. I remember having to pick them up, cook dinner, do all these things. But you know what? Those things are not anything exceptional. Women around the world do these things every day. But you know what's exceptional? It's making a commitment to our dreams so that we can live bigger lives than ourselves. So um, Integration TV to many of you might be just this YouTube channel, but it's actually my passion and my dream. If one single person came to this channel and millions did not, I would still do it. If no one came, I would still do it because it gives me contribution from my own life and my society. Right now, when you go on Google, uh, Go on Google, when you Google Somali TV, guess what comes up? Positive stories about Somali people, educated, professionals, people living quality lives that we never had online before. So if I, as a person, can make that contribution that lives on even when I die, oh, this is what I live for. So I wanna thank you for joining me on the journey. A lot of times I don't get to share my story and I just, we just we become doers as women that we don't share the struggles that we've been through but i think a lot of young people can benefit from my struggles and what i've seen so today um 
I've made that commitment in my life to be a person of contribution, and that's what we'll continue to do on Integration TV, whether we're talking about Shah or Sheko, or whether we're talking about our television show, which I'm so excited to report that we've been picked up by a national network in Canada, and details are coming soon. We'll be airing nationally across Canada now. Can you imagine a simple dream to make life better for myself turn into um, a bigger dream for everyone out there? So that's my little shah and talk today because I don't get a chance to really step out of my broadcaster role and uh, I guess be myself. So I want to thank you for subscribing and continuing the dream to put out positivity about Somali people around the world because we deserve goodness. We have had enough tragedies and problems inside Somalia, outside Somalia. It's time to start working on ourselves. So thank you.